talking to each other I know we feel the same About the situation Like we're stuck inside a game Time to get out of this circle Yeah, we both carry a scar Let's rewrite the part we're playing Time to cherish who we are The only thing I ever wanted Starts with us taking the chance Not like anything we've done before Oh, oh, yeah Now it's time for something better And time for us to follow our dreams No, we can't stay no more oh. Come run away Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ashley. I make healthy lifestyle videos, beauty content, fashion content, all of that fun stuff. And I would love to have you join our little community here. So welcome. Okay guys, it is the morning. I know I have something right there. Just don't look at it. It's fine. I just got up around seven-ish this morning and it is about eight o'clock now and I am starting to have my first fueling. So today's video is gonna be another what I eat in a day vlog. I know I've been doing a lot of these recently but you guys seem to be getting a lot out of them. I really like being able to show some support and be able to be a resource of any kind for you guys. We've got a lot of people here that are finding them interesting and especially if you're getting started on your journey in Optivia, I want to be a resource for you as well throughout all of that. So if you guys are new here I'll bring you up to speed I am currently on my Optivia 5 and 1 program if you don't know what Optivia is I will go ahead and leave all of the information down in my description box below just so you guys can check it out if you're looking for some sort of a health program or anything like that basically with Optivia's 5 and 1 program I'm about a month and a half in and when you are on program the basics of what you're gonna be eating is you're gonna be eating five fuelings a day and one lean and green meal a day so I am on my program now and I'm gonna be showing you guys what I eat in a day on my Optivia 5-in-1 program today. So that being said, <laughs> I need some more fuelings. Also I have no idea who's mowing over there and I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm sorry. So I'm sure everybody goes through this at some point during the month when they're kind of down to the nubs of their fuelings. You know what I'm saying? I am down to all shakes <laughs> and all bars. So I am waiting on my next box. Optivia is also a little behind on shipping right now, so I'm a little worried that my box is gonna take longer than I want it to, but crossing our fingers, I am down to the nubs of my fuelings, and that basically means I'm down to all the stuff that I either saved for last, which is pretty much gone now, or I'm down to all the stuff that isn't my favorite. <laughs> So yeah, this is gonna be a what I eat in the day of all of the nubs that I have left in my pantry. Gosh, I look so pale. We should name him. Anyway, so my first feeling for today, like I said, it's about eight o'clock. I'm gonna have the creamy chocolate shake. I'm gonna just have the shake the way that it is. I know that you can make shakes into pancakes and I will show you guys how I do that as well, but I'm gonna save some of my condiments for later on in the day just so that I can have that. I'm gonna have my creamy chocolate shake and then I'm having my probiotic body bloom drink. I will let you guys know, I have kind of a fun recipe I'm gonna try in today's video. If you guys haven't already heard about the cauliflower pizza crust, it's kind of like an Optivia staple, but I have yet to try it. So I went ahead and bought all of the ingredients and I figured on today's video we could try it together and see how it turns out. It could burn, it could be a total disaster, I have no idea. But if it goes well, I'll do a full video that's like designated to the recipe so you guys can try it out for yourself. I think it's gonna be delicious. I've heard really great things about it, so yeah. Like I said, we're gonna have probably a lot of liquids today, a lot of shakes, a lot of bars, just because I am waiting on my next box and it needs to come right now. So welcome to another episode of my Schlee's Health Journey series. Also, just really quick, it looks like a beautiful summer day, doesn't it? This entire thing was covered in snow like two days ago. I really don't understand it. And now it's back to like 90 degrees. Thank you, Colorado. Okay guys, so I put on some makeup so we look semi alive but I'm actually gonna make some coffee really quick and then Zach and I have to jump on a quick call with our team. So I will show you how I've been making my coffee these days. It's changed up a little bit because fall and everything pumpkin. First off, is this not the cutest mug you have ever seen? Literally just from Target. Uh, I think it's the Threshold brand. And it says, hello pumpkin right in there. So cute. We're gonna do a little bit of coffee. 
We just like this Allegro brand, the organic breakfast blend from Whole Foods. I do a little bit of half and half. You can have up to three tablespoons to count as your healthy fat for the day. I just use half and half because I can't, I can't do almond milk in my coffee. I just think that's gross. Okay, and the latest and greatest. I've been using the Skinny Syrups Pumpkin Caramel. This is so good. I've been putting it in my coffee in the mornings and it just, having that little like hint of caramel just makes it so good. You can have two tablespoons of this as one condiment. Just mix it up and we're good to go. Nobody told me to settle down. Day nights and late nights don't get around. Okay guys, so it's about 11 a.m. I had my first fueling at eight. We just got off of our call. Um, so I'm gonna have the Frosted Cinnamon Spice Crisp Bar. I'm actually getting really hungry and I'm getting really excited to try out this cauliflower pizza crust. So that will probably happen sooner rather than later because yes, I need a lean and green, like now. <laughs> okay, we've got clothes on. I feel like that is a step up for the day. Actually put clothes on, makeup's done. Still wearing a bun, but that's okay. Anyway, I'm getting hungry. Hey. <laughs> I'm getting hungry and I'm gonna make my lean and green for today, which is going to be the cauliflower crust pizza. I'm gonna be trying out Sandy's Kitchen Adventures recipe because I've heard that's the best one, but I have never made this recipe before, so it could be terrible because I have never done it and it seems like it's kind of a delicate balance. So anyway, I'm gonna try it out today and if we like it, we'll do a full video and you guys can comment below if you wanna see the full recipe. I don't think I told you, it's actually about one o'clock right now and I think I've mentioned this in my previous videos. I try to have our lean and greens during the middle of the day, like afternoon time. Number one, because that's when we're most hungry and that's when I've heard almost everybody's most hungry is like right in the afternoon, like one, two-ish. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's Zach. Um, so anyway, um, we try and have our lean and greens in the middle of the day, and that's because we're hungriest in the middle of the day, but also the lean and green is gonna be your biggest meal of the day, and lean and green, just so you know, is gonna normally be between five to seven ounces of lean protein and three servings of non-starchy vegetables. So we're gonna have our lean and green now because it's the biggest meal of the day, and if you have it in the middle of the day, you have the rest of the day to digest all of that food instead of waiting till the end of the day when we have dinner and we have this huge meal and then it just sits in our stomach and we go to bed. I personally feel like we see faster results and we feel better throughout the day as well as in the next morning when we're not super bloated from this huge meal we just ate. So we just eat the meal in the middle of the day to digest throughout the day and then we feel amazing in the morning. We're gonna make our cauliflower pizza crust and let's get started. Okay, so the recipe calls for a cup of grated cauliflower. I could not find that at the store, so we're gonna just grate our own. <laughs> Got the oven preheating to 425 and then we're gonna get this together. Okay, we've got our reduced fat cheese and liquid egg substitute in here. We're gonna mix this all together and then spread it out to be our crust. But maybe I'm escaping the love we found. There's something about you, something about you I like. Okay, now we're gonna put this in the oven for how long? Okay, oven 20 to 25 minutes. We'll see what happens. So guys, while our uh, crust is baking, number one, it smells really delicious and I am already really pumped to eat it. Number two, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to grease the parchment paper. This may not work. <laughs> I was looking this recipe up last night and I'm pretty sure even though it's parchment paper, I was supposed to like spray Pam on it and then put the, pr the crust. I didn't do that. This is why we're trying it out. This is why this is not the official <laughs> recipe video. Could be a total disaster. I have no idea. We'll see. Also, halfway done with my water, or at least for this bottle, I'll probably have two bottles all together. Two bottles all together for the day. Keep crushing it. Wow, 
So this just came out of the oven. This is not what I was expecting. I was expecting it was gonna be like a gushy, gooey mess, but it looks like a crust to me. Now the real question is, did we have to spray it with Pam? I don't know. Looks like it's gonna come up okay. We're supposed to flip this and then put it back in the oven. So let me see if I can do it. Did not stick. That's all we wanted. Okay, so now we're supposed to put this back in the oven. Um, 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, one second. Okay, just put it in for another 10 minutes or so. It looks like this crust is really coming together. So we're gonna do a fourth of a cup of our Rouse marinara sauce. This is approved on plan, so we're gonna try it out. This is gonna be part of our green. Okay, quarter cup of our cheese right over the top. And then we're gonna do some turkey pepperoni. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna put this in the oven for another five minutes to make the cheese all melty and delicious. And then we're gonna try it. Okay guys, it's out of the oven. It looks amazing. I am so excited to try this. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up and we're gonna taste test it and see if it's worth the hype. Okay guys, it's happening. This is my lean and green meal. This is gonna count as half a lean and two greens. The green is gonna be obviously the cauliflower and the marinara sauce, and then the cheese and the pepperoni is all gonna count as a lean. I am so excited to try this. Like, doesn't that look so good? Okay, here we go. Cauliflower crust, taste one. This does not taste like cauliflower at all. This is really good. The cauliflower literally just absorbs all of the ingredients. Oh my God, this is like really good. <laughs> it's a little time consuming. I don't know, maybe you could prep this ahead of time, but this is really good. <laughs> this is amazing. You have to try this. If you guys wanna see a full recipe video with all of the ingredients and how everything breaks down and everything, comment below if you want a full recipe video for the cauliflower pizza crust and I'll make it happen because this is definitely not the last time I'm making this. This is really good. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish my pizza. Cheers. Okay guys, it is about 3.30 p.m. Why is my face so shiny? Let's move. That is not any better. 3.30 p.m. I'm gonna have another bar. This is the Campfire S'mores Crisp. This is so good if you haven't tried this one, so good. Like I said, I'm down to just bars and shakes, so it is what it is. But I'm gonna have this really quick. Zach and I are actually gonna head to the gym. I don't know if I'm gonna bring the camera with me. Sometimes it gets weird with too many people there. I'm gonna head to the gym and just do a little bit of cardio and then we'll be back. I'm getting a million text messages. We'll be back soon and I'll check back in with you later. Okay, back from the gym. I just did about uh, like 35 minutes on the treadmill and then we skipped the sauna today um, just because I'm still filming and didn't want to be totally disgusting. We had a good time and now it's about six o'clock. I think I'm gonna have another shake, probably the peanut butter shake because I already had chocolate today and shakes are apparently my life right now. So let's make a shake. Who knows what you think about me? I know I shouldn't care I really tried my best But I can't make you happy And I can't stop time for you I don't know why we couldn't work this out Because you know I tried the best I could I don't know how or what I could have done better Baby, I really tried the best I Can't stop time for you Just witnessed an Octavia miracle. <laughs>
I was down to shakes and bars all day, but I had done a trade about a week ago with my girl Allie on Instagram. She apparently doesn't like the golden chocolate chip pancakes. I don't understand because I think they're amazing, but I'm totally fine with that because she was willing to trade with me and I was completely out of my, my golden chocolate chip pancakes. And basically right when one of my best hacks came out, my pumpkin pancake fueling hack came out, I was out of pancakes and I was basically watching everybody else make their pumpkin pancakes without me. <laughs> <laughs> and she saved the day. So in the mail today, I received a package full of fuelings that she was not super fond of, and I sent over some bars to her, so we did a little trade, and I was able to make my pumpkin pancakes. It's about 8.30 p.m., so I'm gonna go ahead and have my last fueling of today. I am so excited I get to have my pumpkin pancakes again. Oh my God, I'm so sorry for this terrible lighting. I feel like I'm ending every vlog in the dark these days. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. I really appreciate your support on my Shalise Health Journey series. If there are any other videos you'd like to see on my channel as part of this series or any other support that I can give to you, feel free to reach out. I'm always an open book. Or if you have any other questions about Optavia, feel free to reach out and I'd be happy to help you with that as well. If you like this video, please like the video down below as well as subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. I can't stop time for you. Stop time for you